Woke up a little early, so decided to go get a quick little mile, mile and a half jog in just around uh, the start here. Go watch a couple bikes leave the line and uh, get the heart rate up. So Todd's still making breakfast. Do that, shower, get ready to race. Chaka burrito assembly line. Got Josh's on the tortillas. I'm doing the fill and Justin's rolling. So when they fall apart in everyone's face, my <laughs> fault. I don't know if I should eat this. I threw this up yesterday. <laughs> Day two. Day two. Day two is great so far. Just getting started though. Staging. And so far, we've got breakfast in, got a little jog in, um, got some last minute changes on the truck in. So, yeah, pretty easy. We're gonna go get in line, go have some fun today. Uh, hopefully, the camera guy gets a lot of great footage since we're gonna spend so much time either on the road or alongside the road. So, we've got the car rig set up on the Raptor, got the box truck and everyone going down chasing us for all the all the good stuff. And yeah, 250 miles of fun today. Across the finish line here at Bay of LA. Uh, first one to cross the finish line, but uh, as rally racing goes, doesn't necessarily mean we won uh, the stage or, or won today or are even leading overall. So, a couple hours we'll wait and find out. But in the meantime, there's no one in the taco line. We haven't eaten all day, so we're gonna go get in line and uh, get some food. We just got uh, word that officially we did finish uh, first for the day. I think first for stage one and third for stage two, which was definitely not as truck friendly as what uh, the, the first stage was. But hey, we're in control of the race now. We're the ones uh, first off the line tomorrow morning. So decided to be starting day three, leaving the line first. 
truck's running great and uh, just trying to figure out the strategy and how to play this and uh, we're doing what we need to do, we're leading the race and I can't complain. All right, good morning. Uh, started day three. Um, last night was an interesting one. When they say the wind blows, the wind really does blow here in Bay of LA. So I don't know how many of us got got any good night's sleep, but hey, that's part of rally racing. Uh, you deal with the elements that are thrown at you. So we'll make the best of today. But we had breakfast. I uh, got a quick little jogging to get the heart rate up. Today's actually a day of racing. Uh, we've 200 miles of actually racing without transit zones and uh, just 26 miles of transit, making for a total of roughly 250-ish miles for the day. So, looking forward to it, hoping that the uh, straight roads and, and uh, the different washes heading south out of Bay of LA favor the truck more than the buggies, and I can put a little more time on the rest of the field. But we'll take what it gives us. Uh, really just happy with the way the truck's running. Yokohama tires, Method Race Wheels, Fox Factory, Multicam. Um, it's kicking butt, let's go win this thing. Fun stage. Had a lot of fast, a lot, a lot of fast roads. I think we averaged 75 miles an hour. So, um, good time. Ah. Start getting gear oil out, guys. Oh shit! Is this the hose? Yeah. Zip ties and cutters. Transmission filter and fitting broke and leaked out fluid, so we've been trying to put fluid in. Well, here we are. We'll see. Hopefully, we uh, put it good enough back in it that we don't do any damage to the transmission and go from there. smooth as yesterday it started out with my gloves falling on my floorboard that I had just peed on and so that was the first thing I got to put on when we got to the start line and then I uh, followed up with 
finding a lot of fans on the racetrack that weren't expecting us or maybe even people that didn't even know there was a race going on uh, to running into a fence a gate that was not that was not open because the crew was still on their way we had to get out and open that to at the transit zone having to uh, or sitting there and watching drip drip and then all of a sudden about three quarts of transmission fluid end up on the ground had to bypass the transmission filter uh, made it by 45 seconds to our next um, stage just so just in time and then uh, ended up unfortunately with a flat tire about three miles from the finish line had to get out and change that and that took three or four minutes to do but um, other than that Cody did a great job uh, sounds like we won this we won the day we didn't we won the second stage finished third in the first stage which gave us the overall win for today and uh, I think another two minute lead on our uh, overall so Hey, we're, we're doing good, we're running good, and uh, having a good time. So let's head back to the hotel and get cleaned up. Danielson. So uh, started day five, final day of the Nora 1000. Uh, it's been one heck of an adventure for sure. We've raced uh, from Ensenada down to San Felipe. San Felipe spent two days in Bay of LA and now we're back here in San Felipe racing up to uh, back to Horsepower Ranch in Ensenada. Uh, to say the least, it's been an adventure for us. A um, lot of different experiences. We've won three stages so far, but uh, those have all been the second state, second part of the day. The first part of the day has been definitely been a challenge for us, including yesterday uh, with a broken wheel and getting stuck. And uh, yeah, lost a bunch of time. Where uh, we went in the day with over a eight minute lead on the overall. Now we're a minute 50 behind, starting seventh. Uh, hoping some guys in front of me will realize I'm coming and uh, give me some clean air, and then uh, I can make up the time gap right there. But uh, we'll see. I'm actually kind of happy not to be first on the road though, because we've had uh, we've had gates, we've had cattle, we've had deer, we've had people, we've 
um, just had all kinds of different uh, things been thrown at us with being the first on the road. So being a little farther back, maybe a lot of that stuff will be uh, taken care of for us. The road will be burnt in. Uh, we do do some trails that are not necessarily marked easily or are opposite of what previous race courses have gone on. So uh, lines aren't burnt in. So I think we have a little bit of advantage, but as I said, as long as the guys in front of us, the slower traffic uh, will realize I'm coming and move out of the way. So let's hold on. Let's see what we can do. We've got 200 miles of racing left and uh, hopefully we can come away with the overall in our very first NOR 1000. stage on we pushed 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 and uh reese was reese was keeping us honest for sure uh bad badco did what badco does and it likes to go fast and when it matters it 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 holds on and uh big thanks to yokohama tires method race rules fox factory uh multi-cam everyone that puts this thing together cody not only prepped the same set right seat what did Danzio you do the whole week providing prepared, the power and uh, have such man it was, tough it's cool being here yeah, it's definitely fun and we, we pushed hard so and uh, there's honestly and get a good starting um, position for probably one of my favorite best competitor uh, families to race two, against uh, with the melons and, uh, and it's it's really cool to push as hard as we did that last stage to race for the win All right, so it looks like, and as the dust settles on everything, um, looks like we're gonna end up second. I missed a VCP somewhere out on the race course, and you know, 10 minute penalty. I don't, I know I definitely was not on the faster line with the VCP I missed, but I still missed it. So, um, is what it is. Overall, great experience. Uh, you know, learned a lot down here in Baja, like we always do. Five days of racing, crew guys learned a lot. And uh, you know, had a few different guys down here that were in different positions than what they normally are in the crew, and I know they all had a great time. So um, let's head home. We got a novel drive to put together. Get ready for the Baja 500, and uh, we'll go out and we're going to put everything that we've learned from this weekend and put it together, and hopefully walk away with a win, if not another podium, uh, at the Baja 500. So we'll see you there.